And first of all, Anne McIntosh and Dr. Sarah Williston. Anne McIntosh, first of all, um, why are you opposed to gay marriage? Doesn't this give off exactly the wrong sort of image for what is supposed to be a modern Conservative Party? No, I think uh, many of us believe that marriage is sacrosanct between a man and a woman. And what I personally fear for is that this is going to show the law of unintended consequences. In 18 months, two years down the line, there will be all sorts of ancillary uh, laws coming in, whether we can call each other husband and, and wife, uh, as has happened in other countries. But I, I do hold beliefs that actually I do want to keep marriage between a man and a woman. I think a civil partnership, we were told, would accommodate everything that the equality issue had, had hoped for. But Sarah Wilson, you want this law to go through to yes. have same-sex marriage, but is it worth all the trouble it's causing inside the Conservative Party? Well, the point is marriage matters to me. I enjoy being married and I'd like to make that available to all my constituents, regardless of their sexuality. So I think it is important. But it's put David Cameron in a very difficult place because you know, the Labour Party are basically going to allow this legislation to go through. That doesn't mm -hmm. say much for his authority, does it? No, the point is this is a free vote because it's an issue of conscience and the House of Commons has a long tradition of having free votes on issues of conscience and I, and I absolutely support that. Uh, and I respectfully hold different, different views on this, but actually both would agree that it should be a, a free vote. Uh, on both sides, I think it's a source of some dismay uh, that there should be a non-political issue. Mm -hmm. that that David Cameron has had the strength of his beliefs to allow us to express our views and the Labour Party are not allowing their backbenchers to vote as their conscience dictates. I understand that it's a free vote but this is also coming in a context where there have been difficulties between David Cameron and the party over Europe. We've had that row of the alleged remarks made over the weekend about uh, a co-chair of the party really being very dismissive of uh, party membership. He denies the remarks, we have to say that. In that context though, even though it's a free vote, this is still a challenge to the Prime Minister, isn't well, that, it? Well, that's something that, the, to be fair, I think the media are trying to make more out of uh, than is possibly there. And I certainly wouldn't comment on his uh, remarks that I wasn't present to hear. And I do think that David Cameron has touched the mood of the country as far as holding a referendum on the European question is concerned, and that's something that we can all line up behind. Sarah Wilson, do you worry, though, that there is a bit of a disconnect between the people at the very top of the party? And the membership. No, I think this is something that has been blown out of all proportion. And I think actually what we, well, we now need to do... after what we saw last week. Yes, but the point is that the, I think Parliament's far more exciting, actually, for the fact that we have these great debates at the moment and that we're not seeing um, a party where everything is just being railroaded through with a single voice um, and that actually backbenchers are much more free in this Parliament to express a range of opinions. And I think that's Parliament working well. I don't think that's a, a sign of division. I think it's a sign of strength. I think it's a sign. I mean, there was. I had the run on when my UKIP opponent died uh, in the middle of the last election, and there was palpable excitement in my constituency and across the country at a coalition being formed. And of course, there are going to be frustrations that you don't have a majority government that you are delivering on the coalition. But I think the two parties are working together for the most part to very great effect. But that is frustrating to those who worked very hard to get us individually returned, who wanted to see a Conservative government. I mean, just final question on this particular issue of gay marriage. Do you think it will go through Parliament? Will there be any problems in the House of Lords, for instance? Um, it might go through this evening, but I'd be very surprised if it got through the House of Lords. But can they really defy the Commons over something like this? It wasn't a manifesto commitment, so it's perfectly within their rights to do so, but we can only decide how it... Uh goes well, through the Commons. Personally, I'm looking forward to the House of Commons supporting equal marriage. I very much hope this vote goes through and that we see it then pass through the Lords.